Alright folks, this, this is Ace and Jackson. We're back with the B-17G AccuSim tutorial from A to A. That's right, I didn't plug the charger in. One second full. And we are back with our lovely B-17s. Alright, now we are going to demonstrate something that's a very key feature of VFR flying airplanes. What is the AD, what is the ADA? Is, is there an NDB or is it just a nav? There's an NDB. Um, nav two set for one one six point two zero. One one six point two zero. And NDB three zero five point zero. Three zero five point zero. So one one six point two zero, correct? Yeah, I'm gonna have two. Okay, what about the ADF? Yeah, that's uh the three zero five. Three zero five? Yep. So three zero five. And then zero zero. Alright, let me just tune it now. These don't work. These r actual radios with the B-17 sadly don't work. This does. They couldn't simulate it because the radio frequencies here are so old. They're literally not even able to do the real life frequencies anymore. So they wouldn't work for flight sim. Well, it's actually that these planes use AM. And the only thing that uh, use AM the is current the aviation are the NDB, yeah. Folks, we'll just tune this back a little. No, 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 we need it. There you go, there you go. No? Oh, okay, I know what's happening. We have to go below that. 300. Three, was it 300.350? Uh, Wait, what was it? 305. 305. Should be encountering it halfway there. Alright, there you go, folks. We'll set our nav to, to active. And if we look at our radio compass. Now, is it going to pick it up when we get in the air? Yeah, the VOR, yeah, because, you know, I blow out the two. Yeah, okay. And what you want to do is lower your flaps. It says about a third of flaps. This is what I usually do. You should want to leave the ground at around 100 miles per hour, usually. Checklist says take off at the tail low attitude. Well, by 100 miles per hour, you're pretty much already in the air. You don't even make the rotate speed they call out. So we're going to unlo unlock our tailwheel to taxi here onto the runway. Close the windows if you wish. Let's taxi on. Yes, Jackson does sound like a, a Cessna 172. It's a glitch of any multiplayer. Even, the, even other A2A airplanes sound like Cessnas regular SS open multiplayer sadly. Sounds well, odd. Well this is GOC, it's something else. Well no, no no the, the GOC I can expect it to do it because the P fifty one if you're flying with the P fifty one he sounds exact like a uh it's not success not chest chestnut or chestnut. You wanna slowly float up the floor like I did there, brakes on then release your brakes and begin your takeoff roll. Now, on the sh now what we're going to actually do in flight is do a fuel transfer, so we're going to actually pump this fuel, just to show you how to do a fuel transfer. Once you get up to about 50 or 50, yeah, 50 miles per hour, the airspeed indicator will really become active, and so will your rudder, effectively, as you can see right there. 80. So we're coming up on 100, and watch what happens when we hit 100. Auto takeoff. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I'd let it do an auto takeoff, but uh, I had to pull back on the stick there. Otherwise, we're gonna say become good friends with those trees in front of the runway. Remind me, we're gonna take off. Oh wow! Uh, I had Ultimate Alaska installed. And I, took it, I took it off, and now now the end of the runway is clear. It's not got trees on the end of it. Okay, what you wanna do is raise your flaps and gear. Once you're at a safe altitude. Shut off your fuel pumps. Flaps up. 
It's gonna turn on the FS. Okay, he's back. I didn't expect him to show back up that quickly. Let me fix the volume, folks. Let me go down to oh, fraps, but turn that back up. <laughs> and uh, turn FS back up to where I had it. And yeah, you can turn your turrets on. The engineer will man the turret from time to time. He'll also scan the systems. Your ball gunner will, as long as you tell them to be in those turrets, he will be in that turret. There is a glitch where he will not show up, so you got an invisible ball gunner that moves the turret. Alright, we're on bearing. Roger, we are to. We are at 2,000 feet. We may not go up to the high altitudes. Everybody, so this is, I'm going to give you a quick run over. When you pass 8,000 feet, you turn those off. That's your carb air filter. Above 8,000 feet, you're going to turn them off. Unless, unless you're in dust conditions, you keep those on. Oh, to 20,000 feet. Yeah. Fuel boosters on above 10, and at 12, oxygen masks on. You have a limited supply, so make sure to keep note of that. And uh, that's pretty much it. You will have to dial this. This B-17 was designed to be Put your throttles at 100% and you set your manifold pressure. Please. Uh, on the step. Uh, so, yeah, 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 be on the step. Uh, now, this is, uh, here's a tip. If you're using autopilot, B-17 was designed to cruise on the step. What that is, is you climb about 500, 300 feet above your regular altitude you're trying to cruise at. And you descend and let the B-17 gain its airspeed. Uh, trip with autopilot, just tell the autopilot to go 500 feet above it, and then tell it to go back down 100 feet per minute, and it'll, it'll fix it. And as you can see, I've forgotten to turn off the APU. Make sure to note that in the checklist. <laughs> well, I yes, know it in your, you know, um, 
what do you tell you? I, I thought you were gonna print that again. Um, uh, yeah, I, I may I may print it soon again. Just get the just get the updated non-typo version. This is VFR flying. The B-17 comes with uh, two types of autopilot: the default FS autopilot and uh, that autopilot right down there. The coup de Man, it's a beautiful day today. Yes, it is a beautiful day today, my flight engineer. Uh, the C-1 autopilot, the original B-17 autopilot. I'd give a tutorial on this, but uh, I kind of know how to operate it. This is your this is your controls, raising, lowering wings. This is your turn control, as it says, sensitivity. You don't really, when you're using this, you really have to be on the ball. Because if you do not can't constantly tune that to keep you level, you will go you will be going all over the place. I speak from experience. Where are you? I'm lost side of you. Yeah, I'm lost side of you. How far if you're as far away as I think you are, oh, that's why probably why I can't see you. There's a tweet, a minute tweaking tool we talked about a long time ago, Jackson. Which one? Why? The Pajot tweaking tool. The, the one. The one I used and said, "Oh my gosh, this increased our frame rate," and you used it. Oh yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. It sets your small particle reject radius to 4.0. Basically, what that is, folks, is I believe trees, AI, traffic, buildings, they all spawn in under 0.4 nautical miles and spawn out past 0.4 nautical miles. Jackson, I have not fixed this on a CFG yet, is past 4.0 nautical miles, no, 0.4 nautical miles, I believe. So he disappears. If we go to the Handy Dandy radar that's included with FSN... Oh, wait a second. No, ace, ace. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm not ideal <laughs> Yeah, I figured, I was wondering that, but I still have to change that back, because that is an issue with using that configuration device. Now, when Jackson pops on GOC, you will see him appear on this radar. Thank you, Go, Go Air UK, for letting us use your Go Connect server. And letting us be with well, we do fly airline. for them, so... Yeah, I was, I was saying that, letting us be with their wonderful airline. The B-17G is a delight to manly fly, and a delight just to look at when you're flying. Now, there's an airstrip we take it into that we love for its scenery. There's just one thing. Would you like it's to tell them short. that, Jackson? It's too short. Would you like to tell too them the normal trees. Life? It's just like 2,100 feet, people. And we can fit B-17s into short strips, but we can't fit the Starliner or B-17 into a strip that short. Tis suicide. I've fitted in some pretty short strips, but that takes the game. I'm not. I'm not sure about the range of that eight, uh, MDB. It, it's either 37.5 nautical miles or 22 nautical miles. One yeah, of the two. Either way, I can fall the VOR most of the way. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna try to reach 10,000 feet. You may not, because this is only 80 nautical miles. It's probably gonna be a 20 minute uh, or less. Actually, flight. it was 50 because 80 was uh, that other airport. Yeah, so it's gonna be even quicker. Maybe maybe half an hour or 19 minutes. It's 15 minutes right now. Oh, you're using GOC. You're using GOC. No. Plan G3. Okay, we gotta, we gotta make a recommendation for this. Plan G3, folks. The best flight sim GPS map you can get. Mm -hmm. It profiles all your airports, tells you where you're at, how far, everything. You can profile your airplane into it, and hey, it'll tell you how you, much. You know the guy, you know the guy from. from uh, from 10 Minute Taxi? No, but I've heard okay, of the he, show. He, he, okay, yeah. The guy that makes that show, his expression, he made a comment on the site. His expression was, holy shit. And that's it. It's weird, but, I mean, it's cool. It, it's it, great. It, it describes it in, in two words. Yeah. Because I have tried other flight sim tools, folks, and laggy as heck. Can't use it. Pain in the us. In, I discovered this wonderful device called Plan G3 when I was looking for good FS add-ons. Supposedly you can connect it into an internet connection from a laptop or a PC. Um, neither one of us know how to do that. You gotta do something with your internet and with Jackson's internet. If it has to suck up internet, I guarantee you it's gonna crash it more than usual. 
But, uh, yeah. So we are currently en route. Measure. Oh, what's your speed? Air speed's around 200 miles per hour. I also must note this airspeed indicator 200 miles per hour. Not not. So, if you're like Jackson, you drew out an entire conversion table for this. Yes, he did do this, folks. You can just easily tell it's your buddies. It's easier instead of going on Google. Yeah, Google constantly typing it in. Which we have used many times. And in fact, there's a couple air fields right there. Ooh, that's a nice little air field. I think I'm going to do a low fly of it. Yeah, I'm gonna also feel the low flying. This is this is pretty much turning in. This part of the flight is pretty much the do whatever you want flight. Well, well, if this is VFR flying, this is accurately what you're gonna do when you're VFR flying. You see a nice looking airport, you're gonna wanna be like, oh, I'm gonna be like amazing these people. Man, that's too far out of my way. <laughs> If it was closer, I'd do a direct flow fly. But see yeah. if you can see me on your radar now. Let me show you the handy dandy radar FSM comes with. I'm sure many of you uh, Batsim users will know this. Yep, see there there it is, Jackson, Gab 104. Let's see if we can see him on tag. We should be able to see you with the tags. That's not you. Yeah, I, I don't think you're close enough to me. Yeah, I'm getting other. Um, ten, almost ten miles off. I, I got you on the uh, on the air traffic. Oh, snap here, here we go. There's Jackson. I think uh, has your ADF tuned into the the, the NDB. No, no, it'll, it'll do that when I get closer. I know, but you know, I, I think ah. it might. I can't tell with mine because it doesn't say OFF when it's not running. It, it just shows them not moving. I, I see you over there. Hi! Hmm. I can see your lights. <laughs> yeah, it's the lights. It's all these lights. Yeah, it's those gigantic lights that glitch out. Built-in radio, which uh, you Captain, don't. I have some music on the radio for you. Here, here he, there he is, speak of the devil. Let's show him off. Oh, I got trying to. He'll pick up comics, radio announcements, several things from World War II. Set me here. I've got, I've got the uh, the NDB. I got the the Morse code clicking. I don't think I have that. I've got a tune. I've got a tune meter that will start telling me on the air. Oh yeah, that, that tells you the signal strength. You can pick up some real great music, I will admit. I wasn't a 40s man, but I started flying this and I just loved the music they put on. It fits the, it fits the yeah. mood so well. More, more evident. Before it was all AM. Huh. You know, it was like literally all AM. That's why the, the, the frequencies go as high as 1700 AM. I'm doing the dance right now. Got some swinging jazz on it now. Sad thing is, Jackson can't hear it, but once he gets his new graphics card in, which we just found out his mother was a friend last night. Woo! They'll be able to hear it only once. As long as it's flying to be 17. Oh, and some turbulence. Yes, I also, also recommend the movie Wreck-It Ralph. Go see it. It's lovely. If you don't see it, you have no soul. <laughs> I 
just like to have yeah, no soul. <laughs> I seriously think they had a chance to do so many video game references there. Well, they pretty much did, but... I'm enjoying myself. And Jackson walked away in my stand. Oh no. Okay, it's all I'm enjoying myself. I'm just singing along. Yes, those engines will. Those engines are beautifully modeled. The sand will be beautifully. For anyone that stinks, they that hates the fact that they seem to suck at flying the fighters and the fast maneuverable airplanes. This is something for you. She's maneuverable, but she's also good at airspeed. We should be coming up on the airport if we're correct. Five minutes. Five minutes, and we're about two minutes out. We'll switch over to another video, folks. It'll be the landing phase. Approaching landing. Which is a 3,000 foot strip, so this is not normal conditions. This is more of a short landing, I guess. But the same concept applies like to regular landings. And I question. I'm sorry. I question if you could dig into the B-17's radio uh, audio files, dig through and find the radio announcements and everything. Bet you could. There's a Superman comic I heard. I've never heard the second part of it. Which is a total rip-off, because I do want to find out what happens next. It's like, find out next time! And I'm like, okay, they're going to play the next one at the same time, right? Sorry, Captain, we're getting out of range. Brick! Right, so if we head directly for the VOR, um, once we're over the VOR and head straight for the airport, we're going to be lined up for the runway. There's two runways there. Oh, no, there's that one airport right by it. Thank yeah. You get the dad on CBS spots. Oh man, that thing is so mental when you put the ultimate Alaska in. There's like houses right on the end of the on runway. I used to take the Piper Cup into that airport, not the not Talkeeda, because it, it's just more fun to take it into the little one. I'd say folks, when I rendered this last night, it was a record time rendering. I'm not kidding when I say that. I think it, uh, when I rendered it, like, uh, was like, what is it, two days ago? Uh, I don't know. About that time. It took me probably 30 Wind minutes or so. See, this is, what I, this is what I was talking about. You have to screw with the heat sometimes because the, you, have, you do have crew in here. You gotta remember, it isn't just you. You gotta keep the crew warm. I'm gonna descend to 2,500 feet. How high up am I? Oh wow, I didn't know I didn't even know I got that high up. Now the I, th I, th I think I'm just gonna dive. Uh yeah, I, I better show people this little trick. Okay, what you can do with the B17 if you wanna lose altitude quickly. Cut your throttles and by the way, I wanna show I'm gonna show them that little the RPMs. But oh, look, look what the co-pilot look what the co-pilot does when you okay. drop your RPMs to idle. Is he drunk? You're not supposed to do that. Go then my camera. Alright, alright. I'm doing it too. I'm gonna go at 2,000 feet per minute. I'm at 4. How not to fly a B-17? Right here. What? It's diving. Never seen diving. How not to fly a B-17? The ship picking up the ILS. I can't see the airport. I think I'm seeing it. Check my map. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing the VOR and NDP. Alright, 
how far in are we? Yeah, we can do our cruise one another day. Wait, um, yeah, follow the river, and yeah. you'll encounter the airport. Well, if I follow the DOR, we'll encounter the airport. Yeah, both same thing. We've already got the airport in sight. Uh, this is the old stomping grounds. Yeah. Flaps, gears coming down. Yeah, I got a side of I got a side of the We're almost on the glide slope. Yeah, that's one thing I've never had the GPWS announce. Well, well, you have to um, tune into the ILS. All right, here I come. Gear lowering is about 200 miles per hour. You can see if you lower your gear, which will help. Are you going to watch me or are you just going to continue on yours? Soft enough. Here it comes. Ooh, my end doesn't look a little rough. Yeah, it always looks rough on your end. Oh wow, there's a lot of ha open hangar here. Yeah, but none of the hangers will fit us. Nope. I'll just turn around as fast as I can. If I can. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not trying to slow down. I'm trying to turn, turn it around. Maybe. Oh god. No, 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 oh, shit. <laughs> I just see you still have to grab. Wee. That's the exact opposite of what you want to do. I mean, once it starts rotating, it doesn't want to go back. You know, it doesn't yeah. want to stop. Mind me. I prefer not to run you over. I'd rather fight you. No, I got an idea. I'll just bomb you. <laughs> Get rid of you. <laughs> there, there he goes. Oh, yeah, there's the other airstrip. <laughs> it looks different without Alaska X installed. Yeah, it's hilarious if Alaska X is installed. By the way, folks, there is a scenery. Take a look next time. One thousand. It's not. It's a hole in the ground. I found a Cessna. I knew it was possible to go down. Just not easy. 
thing happened to me you know i was coming in a, a little bit high but then it, i started like dropping out of the sky Parking here. Uh, it's recommended not to do pivot turns, so we're really not going to do a pivot turn. What we're going to do is go forward and start the turn, stop the turn. So, so we're doing that for the pivot turn. Here, this is good. This is a good turn. Not pivot turns. Captain, and these pivot turns are going to grind our tires down. Well, have you seen? Okay, okay. Oh, uh, take a look at this one my size. Okay, now you can kind of shut up about the turns. Seriously. They, they should have put a turnaround small. I like how the Rex textures are this part. Although if you look at all the, all the landing touchdown marks, it looks like they were doing this the entire length of the runway. Look like, looks like they landed with the parking brakes on with screeching tire the whole way down. Okay, I'll park over here. I love how this is like this single parking here over, over here. There's a couple parking spaces over there. And about on this side. On, on, you know, on this side where I am. Oh, this looks like a nice little airport action from station to be 17 side. There's a hangar right on your right. Do you see it? Yeah, it's, it's here for me. Oh, okay. This isn't one of the airports I think that flight sound will be stupid enough to change in the update. Alright, shutdown procedure. This is pretty self explanatory. Turbo's off. Fuel booster's off. Okay, it'll be a lot. And four is down. Captain electrics are coming online. All engines are shut down. Now, yeah, we point, shut down. At this point, you shut down all of these systems here. Just do what I'm doing pretty much. It to be fine. You can't screw this up early here. Engines are shut down. One thing you can do is blow up the airplane, which if you do, kudos. You have figured out how to do something none of us can do. Control lock on. Open carb air filter. And that's how you fly the A2AP-17 and do a good landing. Make sure, now you may not have the GPWS I have, but the key to a soft landing, if you want to ace the landings every time, watch your vertical indicator. Make sure it's not around here, and if it's around right there, that's a pretty good range for soft landings. As you can see, excellent on the end of the jet again. That's how you fly the A2FB-17G. Hope this helped you if, you, uh, you know, if the uh, 
Hey, too late tutorial wasn't too helpful. Yes, I know it was a very helpful tutorial for everything else. But the second they get the landing, they pretty much shoot death in the rear by doing a hard landing. Hmm. And that's all for today, folks. Kill the Looney Tunes, Nate. <laughs> See ya.